take off from Columbia head north. But the problem is, <laughs> right now, the throttle mappings are reversed in that full throttle is idle, idle is full throttle, and I've got the mixture, the red knob, mapped to a rotary on the throttle itself. I didn't know that at this point, and I actually tried to do the narration as I recorded it in fraps, but it's really quiet, so I'm hoping that this turns out better. So here we go, we're straightened out, we're heading down the runway, and of course the 162 doesn't actually have nose wheel steering, it's just the rudder. So it tracks pretty straight, but I do have a bit of wind. So I take off, try to head to the north, fly out a bit, and then we're going to turn to the west and fly out over 63 like we used to, but unfortunately, I didn't see Highway 63 and overflew it. So I'm looking at the flaps, making sure I got the flaps up at this point. I'm trying to look at the Garmin 300. You can see a little bit of the runway behind us. Trying to get used to this again because I haven't done this in a while. Getting ready to make our turn to the left to about 270. I think I actually overshoot the turn. Imagine that. Notice the uh, turn coordinator. I do a fairly reasonable job at times of keeping my turns coordinated. Not here. Eh, bump stick a little bit. Level out on something close to 270. I think I'm going to pan back. Yep, there's a runway, so we're approximately... Oh, let me think. I'm not even sure what this leg is called. Crosswind? No, that's not right. So I happen to just overfly the highway here. Haven't learned how to spot the highway again. And I did set the flight at dusk. I like that time of day better. It's a lot easier on my eyes. I'm looking for the water tower, looking for the highway. Yeah, that's probably the highway right there. Didn't realize it at the time. There's the tower, a water tower back there beyond the wing strut. Now part of my purpose in doing this video is a test for narrating videos. So I'm doing things to see what I can get away with while I'm actually narrating the video, adjusting the headset, and taking a drink, I'm trying not to be too careful about my breathing at this point because unfortunately I can't breathe very well through my nose. Yeah, I can even hear that in my headset. So my nose breathing is so loud that I have to breathe through my mouth while I'm hearing these things. So I'm just flying along merrily here. There's this I think I may have actually lost it. No, there's the tower way back there. So I realize that I'm way over the long highway. So I'm actually going to turn to the right to try to loop back around and head south. So I'm going to turn from west all the way around to south. Watch that turn coordinator. Uh, on the rudder, off and on, trying to keep the turn coordinated. 20 to 30 degree bank. Textbook turn. Very professional. Challenge to keep the turn. This thing's a lot 
lot easier to fly than that A-10. Even moving my head, I can hear the ear pads crinkling. I'm wondering if that's going to make noise on the video. And from where I sit doing this narration, I can't read the HSI. Citation Mustang. so much more prominent 
no Vazzy on this end though, probably too low. I have a hard time judging that. So at this point what I'm trying to do, I'm concentrating so hard on just keeping the end of the runway at the top of the instrument panel. But I forget about the rudder, so you'll see me get out of shape once I do touch down. around with it for a bit. Now you end up giving it throttle and it recovers. It should, but it does. I guess there's no collision detection in Flight Simulator. As you'll see, when I come up to the gas, I sweep my ring, wing right through the supports for the canopy or whatever that's called. But this thing doesn't even have a fuel gauge. The fuel gauge in the real airplane is like a J3. From what I've read, it's up and to the left. I think I pan up and look for it here in a minute. Yep, here we go. And it's not there. So as far as I know, there is no fuel gauge in the 162 in flight mode. And you see, I sweep my wing right through that, but nothing happens. And we're about done. This is a nice little airplane. I'm looking forward to flying it with you. And that's it.